This is the first video in a series on how to navigate the Siemens Store IQ smart monitoring app. This video will cover logging onto your Store IQ app and the basic navigation of the app. If you're using the Store IQ credentials you were provided with your order, enter the URL supplied. Once there, click the login button. You will be asked to provide user credentials. You can use the credentials provided with your order, or in this case, since we're using the demo environment, we'll be using the demo credentials, StoreIQ at ProtonMail.com. The demo password is Siemens123! Once you've done this, press the login button. Once your user credentials have been validated, you will enter the Store IQ environment. The initial screen will be in the Monitoring tab. Across the top, you'll see the Menu button and the two major tabs, Monitoring and Events. We will look at the Events tab first. Click on the Events and you will see a listing of all active events covering all of your locations. If you want to see the events by the priority of the event, as determined by your settings, simply click on Critical, Major, or Minor, and the list will be filtered accordingly. Now, let's go back to the Monitoring tab. Under the Monitoring tab in the top left, you will see the summary of active events in each priority as shown by the icons. By clicking on any of these, it will expand the hierarchy to show you where those events are active. If there are no active events at a given level, you'll see a green check mark. In the top center area, you'll see a detailed list of the active elements and their categories under the severity column. The active events list will show alarms corresponding to the hierarchy level selected and all of the levels under that selection. Below active events is the material listing. If you have materials configured in your system, this will be the listing of the totals of each of the materials that are configured in the system. By clicking on the radio button to the left of each of these, you can collapse or expand them. And now let's take a look at the hierarchy by clicking on the radio button to the left of the hierarchy. We can either expand or contract the hierarchy as well. Clicking on the asset will show you the process values and the impact events for that asset. In addition to the Hierarchy button, there is a button next to it that opens the Map view of the assets. Clicking on the Map button pulls up a Google Map and shows where the asset is currently located. It is also color-coded by the priority of the event status for that location. Now we'll go back to the Hierarchy view. There are two main buttons on this screen that are used to configure and modify the Citran Store IQ system. In the upper left-hand corner is the main menu button. Let's click on that. This opens a list of items that can be used to configure a variety of features within your Store IQ system. We'll cover these features in subsequent videos. However, it's worth noting that this is also where you access the Log Off button, as shown here. To exit back to the previous view from this list, press the X button. The other main button on this page is the Settings button in the upper right-hand corner. Clicking on the Settings gear gives a list of features based on where you are within the app. These also will be explained in a subsequent video. This concludes our video on logging on and basic navigation of the Siemens Store IQ Smart Monitoring app. In subsequent videos, we will look at some of the key features of Store IQ in more detail to allow you to take full advantage of what this powerful tool can offer.